From up in the treetops, they sing their song with their beady little red eyes, jet black shell, wings of gold, and a sex drive for the ages. They are, of course, cicadas. And throughout the eastern U.S. this springtime, they are everywhere, collectively known as Brood X. Emerging from underground once every 17 years, there are billions of them, maybe even a trillion. And man, are they noisy. Here we are, Paul. We're in this beautiful landscape. As you can hear, the cicadas are chorusing in the treetops. A little noisy? Very. Entomologist well, right Mike Raup can't get enough of this stuff, underlining that for female cicadas, that female. deafening sound is the stuff of romance. The male cicadas mating call, 17 years in the making. The way you do this is to sing loud and to sing long. If she likes it, she's going to flick her wings, do a little dance, and then they're going to hook up. But for cicadas, time up here is short. After all those years underground, they're in a hurry to squirm their way out of their shell. Within hours, they change color and start climbing and climbing ever higher, looking for one thing, a partner. And before you know it, they're both just plain doing it. Anyhow, anywhere, anyway, and right in front of everyone. The catch, within a few weeks, they'll all die. The next generation won't do it again until 2038. The lesson, enjoy it while you can. Is this music to your ears? Oh, I love this. How can you not love this? You can touch it. Likewise, say millions of Americans who've now fallen head over heels for these things. You lead the way. Outside Gaithersburg, Maryland, it's a big moment for the McMullen family. Oh, there's lots over here. They've come all the way from Utah just to see these things. Here's one right here. This is Roger McMullen when he lived in Maryland 17 years ago, the last time these bugs came out. Can you, why, don't you, why don't you hold it on your arm? Can you hold it on your arm? Now, he wants his kids to have that same experience. So it's a cicada vacation with Dean and Aurora curious and fearless. Jump, jump, do they jump? Most of the time. Let's look at this one. This one is a female. You want to leave the female ones alone? As Roger sees it, cicadas represent billions of little bug-eyed lessons about the wonder of our world. He's even written a children's book on them. They don't bite, they don't sting, and they're not poisonous. I'm just delicious. Can I take one? Nature is very resilient, and it's super cool. Being able to handle nature and, and see it and experience it and be in the sunshine is really important for kids. And just to be clear, these things are not just in Maryland. This cohort of cicadas is spread throughout some 15 U.S. states. It's the largest get-together of its kind on the planet. Being isolated, quarantined, and I felt like a total affinity with these bugs. <laughs> Karen Boyan lives up in Ohio. Laid off and housebound because of the pandemic, cicadas gave her an idea. She put pencil to paper and bet that Americans were ready for some cicada merch. Now she's in the t-shirt business, with her bug design selling as fast as she can make them. If the cicadas can be determined and persevere, you know, I could do it too. I could push through these obstacles, you know. It's like a renewal and a, like a fresh start. But as it turns out, there's one more way cicadas are changing the way Americans think of bugs. I think they're best when they're extra crispy. Virginia's Elise Harris, a fitness coach and TV chef, has been cooking up a cicada storm. So you're gonna add your cicadas to the olive oil? Her tip and, uh, for first timers? Before we saute, they're freeze dried, so they shrink. She pulls off the wings, chops off the heads, and tosses in shallots and spice. It doesn't look like we're cooking bugs either. Right, the more flavor you add, you know, the less it looks like a bug. I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll get you some cicada sushi if you want to. No, 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 this is like one step, oh, baby, okay. baby step. <laughs> Elise can make cicada tacos, <laughs> cicada pasta, but for us. So we're gonna mash up our avocado. It's gonna be avocado toast here. with cicada and topping. You got them perfect, they're nice and crispy. And wouldn't you know it, that cicada <laughs> topping smells cicada-licious. I never thought I'd say this, but 
my mouth is salivating. Yes! <laughs> They're also super healthy, and they've become the I Dare You snack of the year. <laughs> You're so excited, you can't hide it. You know, they look like mushrooms almost. But how do they actually taste? Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Oh, it's really tasty. Thank you. I've kind of mastered it. Mm -hmm. And so it is in the waning days of COVID, Americans have found a noisy, tasty distraction. And look, don't worry if you miss them. It'll take another 17 years, but they'll be back. Paul Hunter, CBC News, outside Washington.